In the last step, we created a test for some business IMPL using a stub. And we also understood the disadvantages of using a stub. So let's quickly rename this. So this is some business stub test because this is using a stub. And now I would copy this and call this a mock test. So we would want to create this using a mock, right? So I'll say mock test and obviously there would be a compilation error because this is sharing the compile. So that's not a problem. I'll just remove this for now. I'll get a compilation he error here as well. That's cool. Not a problem. So what we want to do now is we would want to create a mock of the data service. So for the data service class, we would want to create a mock. So data service dot class, we want to create a mock. How do we do that? We would create a mock using the mock method. So control one, there's a mockito dot mock. There's a static method which is present, which can be used to mock. So I'll use that. So I'm doing a static import for that. So you can see org mockito dot mock is now imported statically. So now I can take that and I'll assign it to a statement. So this is a data service mock. Now I've created a mock. Once we created a mock, we can get it to do whatever we would want. What we want to do is when I call the data service mock dot retrieve all data method, then I would want this to return specific values. So I'd want it to return an array with a few set of values. So let's just say uh, I would want to return a value 24, 15, 3. So this is the array I would want it to return. So when I call data service mock dot retrieve all data, then I would want it to return this specific values back. That's exactly what this tab does, right? When I call this tab, it returns this back. How did we implement this tab? In the previous example, we created a complete class for it. So what we did was we created the complete class, implemented a method called retrieve all data and made it return to this. With a stub, however, you don't need such complications. All that you need to do is when is one of the methods which is present. So I'll just start writing it. So it's when this method is called. So when this method is called on the mock dot now I can go ahead and do a control one. If you see control one, it would uh, suggest you to add a static import. I'll go ahead and do a static import of mockito dot when. You would see that import static org mockito when is added in now. So you can see your import static at the top. So now when this method is called, then we want to return. What do we want to return? This data back. Cool. So isn't that simple? Doesn't that look really simple? So when a method is called on the data service mock, I'd want to do this stuff, right? And to the some business IMPL, I'd want to pass the mock as the input. So instead of creating a new instance, I would pass the mock. What happens when this method is called on the mock, it would return this data. And let's see what happens now. Cool. The test succeeds. The great thing about mocking is that it's so simple that I can easily repeat it for other data as well. So now I can just copy this and let's say this is another scenario. Uh, test this for one value. Let's just say there is only one value that's being returned. So what's the expected? So it should be 15, right? So I can very easily create unit tests right now because I'm mocking the data. So that's the beauty of Mockito. Using Mockito, you can create mocks of either interfaces or classes. So here I'm using an interface to create a mock. You can also create mocks for classes as well. And you can create mocks and you can make them return whatever data you would want. So here I'm making a method call to return specific data. Whenever using mock, there are two things that you need to be careful about. One is how do you send the mock out to the class you want to test. So here some business IMPL is the class I would want to test. Data service is what I would want to pass in. Here we are using something called constructor injection. So what we are doing is we are passing a mock by creating a constructor. So we are using the constructor to pass the mock in. There are other scenarios where you'd want to use setter injection as well. It's similar to Spring. In conceptually, this is very similar to Spring. So you would want to make the dependency data service mock is a dependency. You would want to make the dependency available to the class which needs it. That's some business IMPL.
In this step, we looked at how to use Mockito and how to write a simple test using Mockito. We saw that Mockito, write, creating a mock using Mockito is very simple. Making it written the data we would want is also really simple. And we can create multiple instances. I mean, we can create multiple tests very, very easily with Mockito. Until the next step, bye-bye.